Hello everyone and happy Friday. I'm home from work and the first thing I did was change into my Moomoo. I needed to clean, I needed to relax, I needed to order from Griffin, which Griffin soaps, if you guys are not familiar, they are um, like a body company. They sell shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, lotion, um, let's see, the Bubble Bears. I don't know if you guys remember that Bubble Bear that I got a long, long time ago from TJ Maxx. That was Griffin. Um, what else do they sell? Um, hand soap, bar, like um, bath bars, just not bath bars, but like soap, like bath soaps. Um, and I simply love them. They come in only, I would say, 10 different fragrances, but... I literally love like everything that I've ever found from that company. I love um, everything that I've ordered from that company and right now they have 30% off. It's like their Valentine's Day sale. So that sale is going to be over um, before this video gets to you guys. And yes, I have a little zit on my face right here and I'm it's whatever. Anyway, you guys, I have been burning candles. Um, I started again. I started burning the candles. This one is a village candle, and as you can see, she's got a sweater on it. Um, I had an Aluma lid on, but I'll just take this off. Anyway, I lit this for the first time last night, and it smelled so good. I lit it with another fragrance. This one is the Creamy Vanilla, and it literally just smells like creamy ice cream, just like creamy vanilla custard ice cream, which is really, really nice, and I like the label on here as well. And then I also have a sweater on this little girl. Um, and this one is the raspberry vanilla. I'll take the sweater off for you guys to show you. Um, that is what that one looks like here. And these two candles paired together. Oh my God. So, so good. And I was surprised about the burn. I did not put an Illuma lid on these two candles and the burn was pretty even. I didn't really have any problems. So, um, I'm going to try again tonight. I'll probably burn both of those candles together and we will see what happens. But anyway, what is going on this weekend? Well, people are trying to plan my life for me and I'm just refusing and not having it. This weekend is going to be about me. I am just going to self pamper. I am going to stay in. I'm not going to go too many places with the exception of grocery shopping and things like that. But other than that, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell my voice is a little bit raspy. So my asthma kicked in this week and I haven't been sick. I've been feeling fine. I've just been kind of like dealing with this raspy raspy, kind of airy voice, and a little bit of a cough. And today, my cough actually got worse at work, and I noticed that my cough is worse with physical activity, which I know is my asthma. Like, whenever I get a cough and it gets worse with the physical activity, I know that that's my athletic asthma kind of, you know, showing, showing its presence, saying, hey, we haven't visited you all year, but don't forget, you have asthma and it's here. So um, I got my albuterol inhaler out last night and I took two puffs and I literally immediately felt so much better. I was able to breathe so much easier. Um, my chest wasn't really tight. The cough that I had was not as barky, so I knew that it was the asthma problems that I was having. Um, and this happens every single year. This year, I feel, isn't as worse for or as bad for me just because I really haven't been, like, sick sick. Like, usually when I get sick, I'll get a fever, I'll be down for, like, two or three days, or I will vomit and I will be sick for the two or three days. And this year, I really haven't had that. So, knock on some whatever that is. If that's wood, I don't know. Is she wood? I don't think so. I think I just knocked on my window frame. But anyway, you guys, so that's kind of what's been going on this weekend. I've been doing like super, super good with um, my eating habits this week and exercise this week. And I feel like I slimmed down even a little bit more this week than last week. So I feel like my Shake It Off with Angela is going to be good um, this week. And the only video that I have to record Record, obviously is my shake it off with Angela because that really doesn't count but the other one is my product empties my bucket that I have for all of my product empties is completely filled so I need to record that again and you guys I'm working on 
my candles. I just have not had the time. I haven't been home to burn any candles. So that's another reason why I just want to like stay home this weekend and chill and relax. Catch up on some TV. I heard that Big Brother, um, my daughter said that the celebrity Big Brother is like tons better than what she thought that it was going to be. So I'm going to start that tonight. We are two episodes in already. Um, when I'm recording this now, there's only been two episodes that have been out. So I'm really excited about that. I love Ross. So he's basically going to be the only reason why I'm watching Celebrity Big Brother. But I heard that there was like scandal happening. There were secret secrets that were kind of spilled in the second episode. My daughter said that she wanted to tell me, but she She's just going to like leave it for me to go watch. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, that's what's going on this weekend. And yeah, here we go. You guys, I did not make my bed this morning, but so sorry about that. I guess I'm apologizing in advance. So here we have a prime example of a Shih Tzu that has messy hair and needs assistance and love. What you doing, babe? Huh? What you doing? Oh my lord. Are you sleeping? Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. Oh, did I wake you up? Oh my god, you guys. My voice is almost gone. I just recorded a 20 minute video of my empties and I literally went super fast. Oops, what is that? Oh, a piece of hair on me. I literally went super fast. I like plowed through. And now I feel like I lost my voice. I have to go drink some tea. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged that much um, today, but I literally woke up and I watched the whole season of um, SX and it was season 16. I'm now on season 17. You guys, I love it. The only way is SX. Gemma is in it. There are a bunch of hot guys in it. They show things that USA TV usually does not show. And I am literally obsessed. If any of you guys are obsessed with this series, with the show, leave a comment down below and let me know because, or like tag me on Instagram or something like, or on Twitter because I clearly have a problem. Also, I want to show you guys what I'm burning today um, because I did light a whole bunch of candles today. So this is Peony Rose and this is by DW Home. I did get this at TJ Maxx. There is the lid for it and it doesn't really smell like peonies it just smells like a very very delicate rose and it's doing pretty good so far this is um i want to say my third burn of it and it smells really and good and i'm also still burning um white tea lavender by dw home she's doing really good and the scent is amazing and i'm also burning candy cane lane by yankee candle this little guy was left over from Christmas and I'm just trying to get through it. The burn on this one isn't the greatest. Um, it's tunneling on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but I'm just gonna kind of let this go all day and see hey what guys, we got. guys, so it is dusk and I decided to wash my face and kind of sort of get ready for bed, like not quite yet. But anyway, all of my makeup is off of my face. Um, except for a little bit of eye makeup here, but I'm going to be doing this face mask. This is the Purifying Mask Charcoal and Tea Tree um, by Appel, and I got it at Big Lots for a dollar. It is a sheet mask, and it's supposed to be um, the charcoal -y black one. So the directions are wash your face, apply any toner, and I usually don't use toner. Um, remove the mask from the packaging, unfold, apply the mask to your face, smooth it on, um, Leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then gently massage the excess serum into the face to help absorb within the skin. So I'm going to open this up now. I don't know if it's black or not. I mean, we'll see. Oh, yeah, it is black. It is a black mask. Okay, so, oh, this is interesting. So it's not like the same material um, that I've come across with other sheet masks. This one seems a little bit more, um, actually like better formula. I don't know, like better. It just seems better. So, oh shoot, I should have put my hair up in a ponytail. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's nice and cool. I'm actually gonna put my hair in a side pony real quick. 
just to keep it out of the way and let us shape this. Oh my goodness, I think I need to lift it up more. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Gotta get it up. Boop. And boop. It is freezing. It is so cold, you guys. Okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Just smoothing it on. And this one really doesn't have a fragrance to it. Like, if anything, it just kind of smells like a tiny bit, I guess you would say, clean. Clean smelling. Um, oops, let me get this part. There we go. Bring it down a little bit. There. So I think that is it. The mask is set. It is on. Um, so I'm going to wait for 15 to 20 minutes, and hopefully there will be enough light left um, within the day for me to show you guys um, and give you, like, my final results. Okay, you guys, it's only 5.30, and it's this dark already. Anyway, I'm going to take the mask off. It's been on for 15 minutes, and I feel like that is good enough. Oh, it feels so good after you take a mask off. So you're just supposed to kind of like pat this in, and I know this is really hard to see. There's a lot of product actually left on my face, so I'm just going to kind of let that like soak in. And I don't know, I really like this mask a lot compared to the other masks um, that I've had that were sheet masks. So that's just my personal opinion. If you guys have used this mask, um, blah, blah, blah. if you guys have used this mask in the past, leave a comment down below and let me know um, if you liked it or not and if you had results from it. Hey guys, so I'm going to be um, getting in the tub real soon and this is the bubble bar that I'm going to be using. It is Wild Current Sandalwood, and it is by uh, Moon's Harvest. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about that company before, but it's a company that I used to order from a long time ago. And yeah, I'm gonna do a bubble bath. So this is the bubble bar. It is huge, actually. I'll show you guys how big it is compared to my hand. It's like a gigantic one, and it smells so good. Hey, everyone, and happy Sunday. I'm on my way to Walmart. Um, I'm going to be going grocery shopping there and my mom wants me to get her a few supplies before surgery tomorrow. So tomorrow is her big day. Um, she has to be, I think, to the hospital at 645 or I can't remember or leave her house at six o'clock. One of the two. Um, so I'm going to be getting up super early tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure that I got everything cooked today. I did my laundry already. Oh, and while I'm at Walmart, I guess Sensationals came out with these new scented uh, plug-in bulbs that you just like plug into the wall. Um, so I want to see if they have those. I want to see if they have any of their spring wax because, whoops, because that is a possibility. So we will see what they have. Hey guys, so Walmart is done. Um, I got all of my groceries with the exception of those RX bars. They don't have them at Walmart. Um, but I actually found a whole bunch of like really thin v-neck sweaters in all different colors um, And they have like the quarter length sleeve, which is something I love because with spring coming, you know Those are gonna be great and they're like really lightweight and they were only three dollars a piece So I picked up I think three of them. I picked up my mom one of them I got my mom's underwear that she wanted and I got everything else I looked for those bulbs and they didn't have them they they didn't have any of the spring wax um, and I did check at least three places and they just didn't have any so I don't know my store is always the last one to get them um, but I think I'm gonna wait until closer to spring and just get the bulbs then I mean it's not something that I absolutely need I have enough wax to scent my house I have definitely enough candles to scent my house so I don't need any more of those but um, they did also have some Yankee candles the baby jars that were two dollars um, on clearance so I did pick those up for my daughter because she loves the baby jars in her bathroom and yeah that's pretty much all I got so now I'm going to I think be a little bit naughty and go to Culver's and into the crock pot she goes oh my gosh you guys this looks so good hey guys so I just got back from Hellmart and I wanted to show you guys what I bought so first I got these room sprays in blue hyacinth I don't know if you guys have seen these before in your local Walmart, 
but these smell amazing. I was really skeptical to get the Mainstays brand just because I haven't really had any luck with um, like the wax melts or anything like that, but this stuff smells so good. I should have bought more. I can't remember how much it was. I know it was um, underneath $2, possibly underneath a dollar. I don't know, but it just has like this beautiful florally but still elegant, um, fresh, clean fragrance to it and I absolutely love it. So this is my number one pick, I would say, for springtime for a fragrance um, that is floral. Anyway, and then I found these two little guys. These were on clearance for $2. This is the Spiced Pumpkin. I just picked these up for my daughter because they went on clearance, um, poured in 2017 for Hallmark. Um, you guys have probably seen these before at your local Hallmark, but these were in the regular candle section. I could not find, um, oh, what do you want to call it? I could not find like the clearance aisle in Walmart. I was walking around and walking around and I just couldn't find them. Um, usually it's like um, in the middle of the store. Sometimes it's by like the vacuums. Sometimes it's all the way in lawn and garden and I wasn't going to go all the way to lawn and garden because that would have been like me literally walking from one side of the store all the way to the other and Walmart is huge. So and then I got these tops. Um, they were on clearance for $3. I did get them in the size um, 2X because I wasn't really sure the fit but I probably could have gotten a 1X and gotten away with it but um, they are V length like so and they're three quarter length sleeves like so and yeah three dollars you guys for this top and it is kind of like a sweatery material but it's super light um and the lines go down which I like instead of across because you girls know out there anything that like goes across lines um, or whatever on the bodice makes you look bigger than what you are. So I got this and I thought that the color was really cute on it. And then I'm that type of person that like literally everyone probably hates because if I find something that I like and it comes in multiple colors, I'm getting every single color. So I got the purple one that you guys just saw. And then I also picked up this teal one that I thought was super cute as well. Really love the color. I think it's going to be really good also for filming. And I tried them on and they actually fit pretty nice. Um, like I said, they are a little bit loose and I probably could have gotten the 1X, but maybe they'll shrink. And then I also got the hot pink type of fuchsia print as well. Super cute. Three dollar. So now I'm thinking about going to MPs. I just did everything that I needed to do for the crock pot. Um, I have the stuff in the crock pot. I'm going to put the timer on for six hours and I think I'm going to be back in time. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to spend six hours at MPs. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, you know, should be back in time for that. And yeah. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so stressed about this surgery tomorrow. I don't, I'm hoping my mom is not stressed. I heard that knee replacement surgery nowadays is like completely different. Like it goes by super fast. Recovery is super fast. So I'm hoping that everything goes well. Um, but yeah. So, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys what happened today. I don't even know if I should talk about it because... It is kind of a touchy subject. Um, well, I'll, t I'll talk about the first half of it. So last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, I was awoke, literally awoken, by Snooky Louise screaming. So if she hears something in the middle of the night that is not supposed to be like a big bump or like people screaming or like voices that shouldn't be... Um, at that time or so close to me or whatever, like if someone's outside my window or something, she will scream. So it's kind of like a yodel, but it's a high-pitched yodel and it literally sounds like a child screaming for their life. So I woke up to that at 2 a.m. Um, and I freaked out. I was heavily into a dream. I like woke myself out of the dream. I quick grabbed the dog. I quick grabbed my phone and I set my phone so like if I had to dial up, out super fast I would so I quickly ran to make sure you know that everything was like locked up and stuff and it was and the weird thing was is that I didn't hear anything after that so that was kind of weird um 
But yeah, something happened today at Hallmark, and this is like what I was thinking about not talking about, but I think I'm going to. So, oh my gosh. So you guys know when you have deja vu and like you know that something has happened before, but you just can't like put your finger on it. Well, this is kind of like a deja vu thing, only I know for a fact that this really did happen. So I walked into Walmart today and I could feel that there was somebody in back of me. Um, like I'm always aware of people walking on the sides of me and in back of me just because I've heard different stories and things um, with different YouTubers and stuff like getting attacked. I've heard um, of, well, I mean, I've witnessed death threats myself. Um, so I'm literally always on edge. I know that when like my video went viral, um, I had people saying that they were like coming for me and like posting pictures of my city and like posting pictures of them in the car saying that they were like on their way to come get me. Um, so I'm kind of like always aware of those situations that are happening. So anyway, so I was walking into Hellmart and I was aware that someone was in back of me and all of a sudden I heard this guy and he's like, I hope you're ready for Valentine's Day. It's only a few days away. And I looked and I immediately recognized the guy and it's so weird and I don't even know like why I'm getting so emotional but I recognize the guy and I can't remember what store I was at and I know it wasn't Hallmark, um, but I was at a different store and this guy did this to me at the other store. And um, it kind of took my breath away because I remember the first time he did it to me, he said something to me. It was like the same situation. I was walking into the store. He was in back of me and he said something to me and I was just like, oh yeah, like, you know, like just trying to be polite. But like at the same time, like looking at the guy, he's not my type at all. So it wasn't, and it what it didn't feel like a flirt to me. It felt like, like weird, like... I don't know, the hairs on the back of your neck standing up type of weird. Um, but anyway, so he said that and immediately I turned around and looked and I was like about to do the same thing and like smile and be like, oh yeah, I know it is. And then like I saw the guy's face and he looked at me and he smiled and like I immediately just turned around and kept on walking and he kept on smiling at me. Like he kept on like looking at me smiling and didn't really change and then like went straight to the grocery and I like went straight to the women's department and like I said I know I've seen this guy before I know he's done this to me before I don't know if he was following me I don't know if it was that much of a coincidence that something like that happened but like I said I'm always on edge and I'm always looking behind my back and I'm always wondering like if I'm being followed because I was being followed actually to MP's house. I didn't want to say anything to her and she's in the hospital right now when this is going to go up. But um, the way I take to my mom's house, I take um, the lake road and I was followed all the way from the lake road to my mom's driveway. And when I pulled into my mom's driveway, um, the person in the, it was a minivan, he stopped and he looked up the driveway and um, like stopped in the middle of the road and like looked and I completely froze and I immediately put on my brakes because like I said, my mom lives in a place where she's not the only one who lives there. So like, um, it would be hard to know unless I'm like actually pulling into her garage so I immediately stopped because I didn't want the guy knowing like where my mom lived. And then after I immediately stopped, he like sped off and took off. So I've just been noticing like really strange things. I don't know if it's me being um, sensitive or whatever, but I feel like nowadays you have to be um, because there's no one else that's going to protect you except for yourself. Um, so yeah, so that was my weird thing that happened. I've been kind of like rambling on. So 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna take Snooki right now and I am going to head to my mother's. Hey guys, so it is nighttime and I am going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this weekend. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black, black with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for 50 cents, cents, cents to see the elephants, elephants, elephants jump over the fence, fence, fence. They jump so high, high, high. They touch the sky, 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 and they never came back, back, back until the 4th of July, lie, lie, lie.